with 900 fewer criminals locked up. Kevin Wild, NBN News. Beachgoers were rewarded with spectacular sights up and down the northern rivers as big swell hit the coast today. The massive waves turned usually tame Byron Main Beach into a surfing mecca. They're waves very rarely seen at Byron's Main Beach and with plenty of barrels on offer, board riders were lapping it up. It's pretty impressive. I think uh, it's the best surf I've seen. Bit dangerous but good, yeah. Those that didn't dare venture in took a snapshot to remember Big Tuesday, the spectacular sight thanks to a low of southeast Queensland, which has caused swells of over 10 metres off the Byron coast. It's uh, the, the worst we've seen in quite, quite some time. Yeah, we've got no beaches open in, our, in the far north coast area, um, and I'd, I'd like to say to anybody, don't go to the beach. It's, it's, not, it's not a safe place at the moment. Now, the large swells are expected to peak today, but lifesavers say conditions will remain dangerous until the end of the week. Down at Ballina, not even experienced board riders tried their luck with the surf a washing machine, but some found other ways to keep amused, with the wild conditions whipping up a bubble bath that blanketed Lighthouse Beach. If I was a bit younger, I'd probably have a roll around in it. <laughs> and while it's not the first time the beach has foamed up, it's still a novel sight. Now the kids were in it last time. Your turn. And it was my turn, yeah. <laughs> but the wild seas also gave beaches a hammering, carving out massive sand cliffs. At Evans Head, safety barriers have been installed to protect beachgoers from a two-metre drop. Annalise Rosendahl, NBN News. Kempsey residents are about to be hit with another rate hike after the local government secured an 11% increase. The move comes as Kempsey Shire Council and Coffs Harbour Council prepare to conduct their own elections. Kempsey Shire Council's General Manager David Rawlings says the new rate rises will be a much needed boost for local infrastructure. Well, we've just got a determination back from IPART, who's approved a rate increase for one year. That goes into our permanent rate base of 11.37%. So that'll be coming through under the rate notices now. The increase will add around $91 a year to local rates. So it'll be going towards basically bringing those roads up to speed and there's also money there that we'll put towards doing bypass works which will primarily be sort of road related going through the corridor of town. And with the local government elections coming up in September, the Mayor of Kempsey will be elected for the first time by the people instead of fellow councillors. And there's been even more changes with Kempsey Shire Council and Coffs Harbour City Council becoming two of just 15 local councils in the state deciding to run their own elections. The Electoral Commission in New South Wales has refused uh, to give a pricing or a quote uh, to councils to conduct their elections. We know that in the Sydney metropolitan area some of those costs are up around uh, five, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars Councillor Rhodes says by seeking a private company to run the elections, council could save well over $50,000. Dollars in local government these days are very, very hard to come by and if we can save that sort of money, well, that's a benefit to our ratepayers. Rochelle Widowson, NBN News. The completion of a $30 million specialist medical centre at Coffs Harbour Base Hospital is set to drastically improve medical services on the mid-north coast. Capable of housing up to 30 specialists, it will provide a network of services for patients. It has been 10 years in the making and now the specialist medical centre takes centre stage at the Coffs Harbour Health Campus. Architecturally designed to complement the base hospital, the centre is already home to three specialist practices. Cardiologist John Waits is behind the development of the centre and says it's designed to bring a wider range of services together for the patient. The main reason for, for building the centre was so that we'd all be working in the same building together. For years, Dr Waits was the only cardiologist between Port Macquarie and Lismore and now he has two others on board. It is hoped the centre will only attract a wider range of professionals to the coast. If there are people who are interested in moving in from um, outside the area, and there are a number that we're aware of, then obviously this gives them a place to establish their practices. It may be an impressive looking structure, but its main attraction is the functionality it serves for medical practices. This building is purpose built um, with you know, wheelchair access, with lifts in sight, with uh, special bathrooms for those sorts of issues. A fresh cup of coffee is even available from the cafe downstairs. Camilla Campbell, NBN News. 
Taree-based company Valley Industries is showing no signs of slowing down, announcing it'll take over Interlink Therapy Solutions. The organisation provides a number of health services to people with a disability. It's been less than two weeks since Valley Industries launched its new facility, Valley Skills for Life. The Tari company, which employs more than 120 people with varying disabilities, continues to go from strength to strength. From the 1st of July, it will add another venture to its expanding business, Interlink Therapy Solutions. It will expand the horizons and the services that we provide. We are here for the general community as well as the disability community and there are a number of services here which specialises in disability. But its services also extend to the wider community, from paediatrics to psychology services and occupational therapy. It has contracts with Faxia for autistic kids uh, and Better Start programs. We have contracts to provide EAP assistance right across the valley and we provide some Indigenous services to the local uh, Biripai and, and uh, foster communities. Meanwhile, Valley Industries is also looking forward to work beginning on a cafe in Tari's library. The development application should be through council in the next few weeks. That is going to be a great training place for our guys with disability. So we look forward to, I hope, sometime in the next few months uh, announcing its opening and uh, going forward. Renee Fetter, NBN News. Coming up, a big blaze in a busy shopping precinct.